mainly peer pressure and the desire to fit in, curiosity, idleness from unemployment, uh, availability and ease of access to these drugs, glamorizing of the media on drug use by celebrities and all of that, as well as stress. And what are the common drugs of abuse and who are the most victims, male or female? So the most common drugs are alcohol, cannabis or marijuana, uh, cut, tobacco, nicotine, cocaine, heroin, uh, inhalants, among others. And between females and males, males are found to be more prone to this. Dr. Kemunto, what is the impact of drug abuse among the young in African countries? So it has an array of effects, uh, starting with physical and mental health effects. So they can get bloodborne infections, especially the intravenous drug users and diseases such as depression and psychosis. It also causes increased truancy at work and in school with poor performance. There's also increased crime rates and violence, as well as financial implications on the individual and the family because of increased demand for medical and rehabilitation services. So in the long term, there's a threat to our future generations. I know you meet these cases day by day. How long does treatment take and is it possible for the victim to relapse into substance abuse after treatment? Yes, so we see a lot of these cases, especially among the youth. Uh, duration of treatment depends on the substance use and the severity of dependence. So it's a wide variation from a few hours to several days. Um, what was the other question? And how do we effectively... Do you hear me? Yes. How do we effectively tackle the issue of youth drug abuse? So we need concerted effort from the law enforcement team, from parents, the community, and the youth themselves. So we need public education programs for the youth, including peer counseling. We need enactment of laws and uh, strengthening of these regulatory bodies so that we can identify and eliminate the sources as well as distribution channels. Uh, we need to create employment opportunities for the youth to avoid idleness. And then also we need to provide and endorse affordable and accessible rehabilitation services to all. What is the role for families and guardians to make sure their loved one healing well and faster? So they need to accept the situation and try and understand the base or the basis or the reason for this drug use or abuse and then uh, commit themselves to provide not just financially but also social support to their youth or their family members in getting treatment. And um, in your hospital, where do you get uh, funds or donors to support your program to make sure youth are standing in the right path due to uh, treatment? Okay, so we get support first from the government. We have this uh, regulatory bodies such as NACADA that provide uh, supportive funds and services. And then also we receive uh, support from non-governmental organizations or just individuals that are touched by this cause. Thanks, Dr. Kemunto. Dr. Lorraine Kemunto is a general practitioner in Nairobi, Kenya.